Now, you might remember a couple of weeks ago, I was talking about self-hosting your maps with ProtoMaps and Superbase Storage. And it's a really neat approach. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. But I was struggling getting that to work in React Native until the lovely folks from Expo told me about React DOM components in Expo Native apps. Now, this is really cool. This is currently experimental coming in the next SDK 52 release, but you can use it already with the um, Expo Canary Canary actually canary, I think. <laughs> um, release if you want to check it out. Really, really cool. So what this means is you can use your React kind of TSX components. And there's a really wild demo by Evan there uh, as well. If you want to check that out, where you know, entire charts and like chat CN and like all, you know, all the good, like React stuff in your components, you can make it work. And I was like, okay, can I make this work? with the custom proto maps protocol and react map libra and it turns out it does work across both web and um, mobile here you can see it in the ios simulator and so i wanted to just quickly um, show you how this works and it's pretty cool so you basically just have this use dom uh, directive which then you know basically means that um, i believe what happens kind of expo bundle set as sort of a, a, a web view, but like the developer experience for this is, is really neat because you basically can just take your components as they are. Here we're using MapLibre and React MapGL and we're basically just having our protocol here. So what we need to do is we need to add the PM tiles protocol. And then here we can use our diffs, right? Our map. So this is our React map Libra. We put in our map styles. And then here you can see we're using the PM tiles protocol. And if you remember, so in our Superbase project, we can load up um, in storage. You know, here I have a public uh, maps. We can load up our PM tiles that we generate with the proto maps you know, CLI, and we can just get the URL, copy that here, um, and put that in. Now, the thing is, we do need to define our layers. So I think in our case, uh, let me see, um, put that in here, we don't really need the timestamp, uh, give that a save. And so now, yeah, we need to configure our layers real quick. So if we look in here, dum, 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 proto maps, uh, style. Uh, so I think we just need the style and the layers. Proto maps themes base. Uh, so this is a vanilla, vanilla JavaScript example here. I do have React um, example as well. So we'll need to, yeah, we need the theme. So that's important for the styling. And then uh, we can basically, I think map style, style. Okay, so we need the map style, we need the layers. Yeah, map Libra. So we can just the map style, um, basically everything. Doo -doo 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 paste that in here. Actually, here we're done using any TypeScript. So and then yeah, we need the bucket. So again, we can just, you know, upload our PM tiles, static PM tiles file, we can get the URL, and we can put that in. So PM tiles is the protocol. And then we just need to put that in here. Again, we don't need the timestamp. There we are. And I believe now if we start this back up, so the thing is currently it doesn't work in Expo Go because it's a Canary release. So we just use NPX Expo run iOS to, to kind of build the apps, you know, client, iOS client. And then we just need to have a bit of patience. I am now because I imported a new dependency here, or just need to rebuild the app. And there we are, we're installing open it on the iPhone. And boom, there we are, we have our map. 
Uh, and so this specifically is a map cut out of Sing no, oh, actually Utrecht, Utrecht, was it Utrecht? Um, so that's a whole thing of proto maps that you can cut out parts of the map here in this case, Rotterdam. And so as you zoom in, you lose the detail of the other, actually, actually Utrecht and not, not Rotterdam, right? Was it Utrecht? Okay. Now, now I don't remember what was in <laughs> my area. I think it was Utrecht. Yeah. So. I uh, quickly reload that. But then we can also open it on the web app. There we are. And yeah, I believe uh, where is there. So we got to zoom into Utrecht here. Yes. And so basically, this was a cutout of the Utrecht city center. So we only have the detail for Utrecht. Yeah, I need to figure out how to like properly navigate on the right where is where are the Netherlands there there they are okay and so we can zoom in to here Utrecht and we can get the details of Utrecht city center there we are okay yeah not that easy to use on the uh, simulator but you know on the phone you can you can use the scrolling and stuff but yeah really really cool self-hosted maps with proto maps and super base storage now in react native simply using react dom components fantastic love this ecosystem really really cool watch out for the expo sdk 52 um, some really cool stuff coming in there awesome Thanks for tuning in and see you next time. Bye-bye.